Time now for the lowdown with Magic Creeper. Now we've compared traditional Mechanics Creepers with the Magic Creeper and, and really there's no comparison. Take a look at this one. That's a fine creeper if you've got a smooth floor. Look, it rolls around nice and easily here on the casters. But once you get it out in the dirt or in the gravel, there is no chance this thing is going anywhere. And talk about portability. The Magic Creeper you can take along with you. This, not so much. You're never gonna get it in your car either. It's never gonna fit. You're not gonna wanna take this along with you. The Magic Creeper, however, just weighs a few pounds and you can roll it up just like this and throw it under your seat or in the back of the vehicle and it can go everywhere you go. Let's talk about another place where the Magic Creeper shines. Ground clearance. Take a look at this here. This is the traditional Creeper. What is that? Four or five inches there and then the Magic Creeper just about nothing. And you get all that extra ground clearance to work because some of us need a little more clearance. The average SUV is about eight inches off the ground and you need all the space you can get if you're gonna work underneath. The Magic Creeper is your only option. Magic Creeper is great wherever you go. It's great at home, it's great on the road. If you're using it in your shop as a professional, a lot of folks like to take this outside if they've got a vehicle that pulls in. They can triage it, decide if it needs to go in the shop, decide which car needs to go first. If they just wanna take a quick look, the mechanic can just roll out the Magic Creeper right right in the parking lot, take a look underneath, and it could be just a quick fix, and the customer is on their way. We also hear from a lot of pro shops that use it in the shop, again, because of the ground clearance. If there's not enough lift space, the Magic Creeper works as well as any other traditional creeper, and you don't have to worry about rolling over tools or bumpy spots on the floor. Any debris and dirt and all that stuff is on the creeper, not on you, because you stay on the dry part and the clean part of the Magic Creeper. Once the creeper does get dirty, it's easy to clean. Just spray it with your favorite cleaner, wipe it up, and the dirt is gone. Whether you're a pro or whether you're using the Magic Creeper at home, in your driveway, or around the house, it is the creeper you need in your life. It's going to make your life a whole lot simpler. Check them out at magiccreeper.com.